Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Today we're making stuffed portobello mushrooms. Now the first thing you want to do is just grab each one of these and twist and pull out the stems. Now don't throw them away. We're actually going to use that in part of the breading when we stuff these, okay? But each one just flip them over, get a good grip, nice little twist and pull, and out they come. No big deal. Now take those stems and smash them flat so you can chop them up with your knife. Then you're going to want to cut up some bell pepper. Then pieces of bacon. And some parsley. Also, if you like onion, scallions. Now we're going to just melt some butter. Pour it into the pan that you'll be using to cook the portobello mushrooms in the oven. Now the remaining butter we'll be using to saute our vegetables. Give it a good stir and cook thoroughly until it looks something like this. Once you get it like this, we're going to add some water. As soon as you bring it to a boil, add your breadcrumbs and stir until it soaks everything up and looks like stuffing. A little bit of parsley and there you have it. We can start stuffing our mushrooms. Now we're going to take each one of our mushrooms and stuff it with the filling. Something like that. Now that we've got them all looking gorgeous, we can now take that pan that we poured the butter in and line it with the stuffed mushrooms for baking. Try to find a pan that can fit all six mushrooms pretty snug so they're not sliding around everywhere. Then line it with some tin foil, take it to the oven, and you're going to bake it at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, let's see what we've got. Go ahead and peel back the tin foil. Oh, that looks good. They're ready. Now the next step, all you gotta do is take some of this mozzarella cheese and cover each one of them. You want to set your oven to a high broil and then when you put them in, it'll just scorch the top. Now if you have a torch at home and you want to skip that step, that'd be fine. Just give it a nice golden color across the top of that cheese, just like this. Drop in some parsley. That look good. Now for the close-up shot. I'm going to cut this right down the center. See what she looks like on the inside. There you have it. Stuffed portobello mushrooms here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.